Okay, today I'm going to do a lesson on the first step of the how to solve the 4x4. Four four. So I assume you already know how to solve the 3x3 three three, as everything that we're going to use on the 3x3 three three will apply to the 4x4. Four four. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing we're going to do is we need to form the centers because on the 4x4 four four, as you can see there are no center pieces. Um, like there are on the 3x3. Three three. On the 3x3 three three right here we can tell this side is going to be orange because the center piece is orange. Right here on the 4x4 four four, I can make this any color I want to. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that. The first thing I would do is I'm going to form the white center. So I'm going to find two white pieces and I'm going to put them together. So I see one right here and I see another one back here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys together. And you're just going to kind of have to play with this and get used to how this cube works because I can see that if I just put them together like that it's not going to connect my two white pieces. So what I need to do is before I rotate this these two layers up I need to rotate my top layer around. So if I rotate it to where the white is up here now when I rotate this it combines these two pieces. So do that with two of them, find the other two uh, and, and connect them together and if they're already connected like mine then we need to go ahead and just put these guys uh, together. So I'm going to rotate this over and connect them. So now I have formed the white center on the uh, 4x4. Now when we're doing the centers we have to make sure that we put all the the colors in the correct spot in relation to each other. So on the 3x3 three three, I can look and see that opposite of white is going to be yellow. So I have to do that on the on the 4x4. Four four. And the reason is is because they only make the corner stickers certain colors. So there's not going to be any corner stickers that have both white and yellow on them. So if I put the yellow say over here, I'm not going to be able to get corner pieces that are going to match how I have the the centers formed. So we have to make sure that we put the colors in the correct spot. If you're not sure what the colors are, get your 3x3 three three out and have it there and make sure it's set up exactly the same, the same way. Okay, so after I formed white on, on the bottom here, I'm going to form yellow on the top. So I can see I already have two yellow pieces um, connected. And this is, this is not very hard to do to connect two of the yellow pieces. This is where people kind of run into trouble. Um, when they start trying to solve these centers is say I have my my two connected ones right here next to the white and I want to put my two yellow up here well what you're gonna do is move your two yellow up rotate it over and then put it back okay so now my white is still completely formed and my yellow is on top there my yellow pair so I'm gonna show it to you one more time So I have my yellow right here, and I want to put it on top, yet if I move this straight up, it breaks up my white. So what you need to do is put your yellow on top, rotate it over, and then put your these two layers back so your white is still good to go. Okay, the next part is we need to go ahead and pair up the remaining two yellow center pieces. So what I like to do is just turn the cube this way, have my white over here, my yellow over here, and I can move these two layers without messing up either the white or the yellow. So I have paired the two pieces up, and now I need to get these two pieces up here. Here's the problem that most of you guys probably see, is if I take these two yellow right here and I put them on the top, I have messed up my white. And I can't just rotate it over because when I pull it back, that pulls down my other pair. So we have a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the technique for doing this. It's not very difficult. Um, and you're going to use this technique a lot while, as you're solving the 4x4. Four four. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to line up the yellow pair right here with the yellow pair on top. They're both going to be in a line. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this yellow pair right here, put it on top, rotate it over, and then pull it back. And there forms my yellow center, and my white center is still 
good. Hey, I'm gonna just go ahead and show that to you one more time. Okay, so I have my yellow right here, and instead of just having it si over here, because this won't work, it will pull up the white, and I can't just rotate it over and pull it back because my yellow, my, it pulls down my other yellow pair. What you need to do, again, is line them up with each other. So have this one right here, have the one on top right in a line like this. Then you're going to pull this pair up to the top, rotate it over, and then pull it back. And it's going to pull this center, those two, back with it, and it's going to form the center. Okay, after you've done this, um, we're going to need to form one of the centers on the uh, front side right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the green. So I, I'm just going to mash up two of these, uh, the green, connect them like this, and then I like to have them rotated kind of like this. And I can move this again, I can move this right here, and I'm not going to mess up the yellow or the white. So getting the two green is not really too difficult. I see a green right here, and... There's my other green right there, and there's my green center. So now we have to be very careful, and we have to look and see where are the other colors going to be placed. So if I have green on the front, yellow on the top, white on the bottom, on the right side needs to go orange. So I'm going to place my orange right there. So right here I see a orange piece. I'm gonna go. I see an orange piece up here also. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this one over so I know that they'll connect when I pull this these two up there. So I pull it up here, and when you pull it up here, you need to make sure that you pull it back sometime. So I know that if I put these two pieces right here, I'm gonna pull it back, and my orange is gonna be in the correct spot. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. You could leave this over here, pull the green back where it's supposed to go, and then put the orange, but that would be that would be a little bit slower. So now let's go ahead and we need to get our other orange uh, connected pair right here. It's going to work the same as when we did the white and the yellow. It's going to be the exact same thing. So I see mine are already connected, um, and what I need to do is I need to put them uh, right here. Okay, so what you need to do is I'm going to line this up with itself. So there's the orange, and it's lined up with itself. You can cross two sides of the cube, so I can actually pull this twice and then rotate it over and pull it twice back. That, that works perfectly fine because you're still going to be putting the green center back. So my orange is over here. I'm going to pull it down twice, rotate it over, and then pull it back twice. And I can see now that my orange center is formed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you again. Okay, so here's my green center formed. I have one orange pair right here, and my other orange pair is way back here. So I have lined it up with itself, so it's in a straight line, and I'm going to rotate it twice over to replace the old orange pair. Rotate it over, and then pull it twice back, and there's my orange center and my green center is still good. Now you can either form the blue or you can form the red over here. So if we have it like this, we have green, orange, opposite of orange is red, and opposite of green is blue. So it doesn't really matter which one you form uh, first. I usually just form the red. So I can see that there's a two, uh, there's a two pair right here. I'm gonna pull it up, rotate it over, and pull it back so my green and my orange are still formed. And now I need to connect these other two right here. So I see this one up here. I can pull it back and pull it back this way. And I won't mess up my green. So what I'm going to do as I'm pulling it down, I'm going to connect it with this one. So see how I moved this red one over? So I connected it. Then I'm going to rotate it over and pull it straight back. Okay, so I didn't mess up my green. So if you want to, I mean, if that's kind of confusing, you could, I guess, just put this one back, and then you could line these two up, and then pull it up, rotate it over, and pull it back. So this is how you form the, uh, the centers on a 4x4. Your, your last center will naturally form all by itself.